What's going on everyone? It's your rifle here and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some more Dark Below DLC and some non-DLC information for Destiny. First off I wanted to start with Eris Morn's bounty. The new bounties from Eris Morn are no longer known as hidden bounties. Also you can now see that Eris is located in the tower now if you go to view map. That's the only way that you can see Eris in the tower. But that's pretty awesome that they added that in and also they added a few new bounties. I went over all of the bounties that Eris was going to have but now since this update they added a few new bounties I'll go over the new bounties that they added in the first one is called atonement rapidly kill three hive with a special weapon five times and you gotta do this without dying another new one they added in is called bone shaker kill seven hive at once with the fist of havoc another one's called chase the dark kill hive with the axion bolt so as you guys can see they're kind of incorporating more class bounties now Another one's called Hard Fall, rapidly kill four hive with a heavy weapon. Death will reset your progress. That should be an easy one to take care of. Another one's called Let's Dance, rapidly kill seven enemies with a melee attack. Let's Dance. That's got to be referencing the Blade Dancer. Anyways, up next is Light the Dark, rapidly kill ten hive with grenade abilities while under the effect of Radiance. Another new bounty is called Out of Sight, kill hive from behind. Purifier, kill 7 Hive at once with a Nova Bomb. And there's also Shiny Light Bounty, use a Solar Arc ability to kill an enemy. And they got two more bounties they added in. The Cleansing, which this is kill any Majors or Ultras in a Nightfall activity. And lastly but not least, the last bounty they added in, Unwavering Light. Complete 5 bounties in a single day. Looks like they might have added that as a last minute idea. And I like that idea. I like it. Complete 5 bounties in a single day. So that bounty, you have to actually do your bounties to even get that bounty. It's pretty cool. But yeah, all of these will be coming in the dark below. So since these new class bounties are coming our way, I think the Warlocks should be more at ease since there's a lot of class bounties for the Warlocks. I know, Warlocks. Zura has been a botch. And I know this information I'm about to share with you guys might get you guys a little shooken up, but I guess I'm going to go ahead and share it. Please don't dislike the video just because I'm saying this, guys. It's not my fault. I'm just sharing the information. Anyways, they have a timed PlayStation exclusive until fall of 2015. Which what that means is the PlayStation will only have this until fall of 2015. The exclusive is a weapon, and the weapon is a shotgun. There's also another exclusive, but I'll get to that at the end of this video. And this shotgun looks absolutely incredible. I have to say, daggone it PlayStation, you are lucky. Huh, 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 huh. Ah, uh, daggone it PlayStation, you are lucky, huh? But oh well, this new exotic shotgun will be coming to the PlayStation in the dark below. And let's just say overall this shotgun is just insane. That's, that's overall just insane. First off, it is a special weapon and it has arc damage and it goes up to 331 total attack. This weapon can also be fired in full auto and it also has a perk called Final Round which if you don't know what that does is the last round in a magazine deals bonus damage. And we all know shotguns don't have the biggest clips in them. So this shotgun is just going to be dealing an insane amount of damage. And yeah, power is good and all, but it also has perks that can help its effective extended range. And it also has a perk that can make it reload faster. And if you're thinking in your mind right now, man, I really want to play with this shotgun. Well, I'm not done yet. It also has a perk called Return to Cinder, which... What this does is kills with the weapon grant bonus ammo directly to the magazine. This weapon is fully stocked on perks. It's going to be freaking overpowered. I, I don't even know. I'm, 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 no, I'm, no, I'm, uh. All right, so up next I have you guys some things that weren't actually mentioned in the patch notes. And they are the Crucible Commendations and Vanguard Commendations. These are items that you get. Which these Crucible and Vanguard Commendations are obtained from Crucible Reward Packages or Vanguard Reward Packages. These packages are awarded for rank 3 and higher. There are also some new random armor pieces that were added into the Destiny database as well. It is said that this is just a different name for what was already actually in the game. I mean they're not really too special and all, but as you can see it's called Knight Type 1, Rust Burner 1.5, Nemesis Plane, and same goes for the boots as well, same names. These are probably just extra rewards from the dark below. Alright, to wrap up this video, once again I have you guys some time PlayStation exclusive information. I'm going to cover the new strike boss called the Undying Mine. 
The description of this strike says, An ancient mind, feared by the Vex themselves, hides among the channels of the Black Garden. Find this machine and end its existence. The location of the strike will be located on Mars, and as you guys can see, it looks like a buffed up Hydra. And it looks insane. I love the detail that they did with this. The moss on it, the greenery on this makes it look ancient. So that stands for a good point of what they're trying to get across from this boss. But I guess that's about wrapping up this video for this. I hope it helped inform you about what's going on and what will be going on. But I don't even own a PlayStation myself, so yeah, I'm like, on it. But still, I had to cover this just because all this information wasn't just PlayStation exclusive. So I wanted to bring it to you all. But if you enjoyed the video and you are excited for the Dark Below DLC, please remember to leave a like. It is much appreciated and it helps me out a lot. But I'm going to wrap up the video here. Thanks everyone for watching and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. What's going on everyone? It's your Ripple here and in today's video I'm going to be covering some more of the Dark Below DLC since it's coming extremely soon.